here we are in beautiful Andalusia. Finally made it to the estate. Uh, we're here where all of our olive oil is grown and processed, Solo Romero, and uh, looking forward to learning all about what they do here. And we've taken some time to go up to the top of the estate where we can have a beautiful view and just to take a little bit of a look at these healthy organic olives that they're gonna harvest and make into our olive oil that we use in all of our products. Eh, hola, mi nombre es Enrique de Juan. The first person I met was Enrique, an owner of Sol Romero, who explained to me that his family has cultivated olives organically on this estate for seven generations. Enrique believes that society deserves safe products of the highest quality, without chemicals, pesticides, or additives. Following this belief, Sol Romero became the first USDA-certified organic olive oil producer in Spain. After learning about the history of the estate from Enrique, we met up with Carlos, who would show me around the estate. If you look at, at the ground and, and the soil in our farm, you will see grass, you will see moss, you will see uh, leaves, you will see diversity, you will see life, actually, okay? If you look at the, at the other farm, that's that ground. They use chemicals to, ki to kill the grass, and that kills everything, that will kill the diversity and the organisms living in the on the ground. Uh, we control every aspect of the of the olive growth to the commercialization of the olive oil once bottled. Okay, we we do the agriculture, we do the production, we do the storage in the in our cellar, in our own cellar, in the same facility. We do the bottling and we do the commercial aspect of it. Okay, what we get with that is that we can control uh, the quality of the olive oil. We don't have a supply chain actually it's it's, just, it's all us we yeah. do everything or uh, we don't have to buy anything from the outside any fertilizers pesticides anything mm -hmm. we're gonna try to experience a day in the life of an olive so here we are short well as Carlos said, no supply chain. Everything's done here. They harvest the olives. Uh, once they harvest it, it goes in the truck and we're going to see how short it is to go from where it's harvested all the way to where it's produced, which is not that far. We can see it from here. Carlos explained that the process is simple. The olives are cold pressed, then the oil is separated from the pit, fruit, and juice. They then ensure that each batch of oil is absolutely perfect before sending it down to the cellar, where it is stored under nitrogen at a controlled temperature. I sat down with Francisco, the farm manager, who explained to me that badger olive oil is made from olives that were in their peak of ripeness, a fantastic oil with medium intensity and harmony, and an ecstatic incantation. It is the best kind of oil to use, with the greatest amount of health benefits. This is a toad of our olive oil, and this is what will be shipped to us and what we'll put directly into our products. Thank you. 